Okay, the first question, what causes eczema? I think this is going to be a question that is going to be very, very hard to answer. Um, I don't think there, there are some genetic factors that causes eczema. So this particular gene called the filagrin genes is in some people, which mean that they have a, fun, uh, a functional problem with a skin barrier, meaning that the skin get excessively dry, which they're born with it. And that, of course, is prone and linking to eczema. So there is that cause, but not every single eczema patient have a filagrin gene problem. So the, the, the questions remain quite uh, un, unresolved, really. It is increasingly uh, common uh, as the country become more and more developed, more and more people get eczema. It, in the developed world, it kind of range from 20 to 25 percent of children will have eczema. So it is a real health issues and real economic issues in uh, in more developed world. There is a lot, very large scale epidemiological studies looking into why eczema is common in the developed world compared to the undeveloped world. So there is a big difference and major studies in the world uh, has confirmed that eczema is very, very rare in a rural setting, in Indonesia, in Vietnam, the rural settings. And in more developed cities like Hong Kong, Singapore, even Kuala Lumpur, then they are heading towards the uh, uh, Euro uh, sort of European levels of eczema. Some theories have been uh, suggested and hypotheses. This, these are of course difficult to prove when you put a large scale statistic. That maybe it is something to do with such thing as the, the postulation about the hygiene theory. So. As we get more and more developed and more wealthy, we clean, we sterilize, we disinfect it, we boil everything. Everything from the milk uh, bottles to whatever, even cleaning the skin, you use that sometimes. And on top of that, the minute a kid in a kind of a, uh, a developed place it has any infections, the tendency is to just go straight to hit the, with antibiotics. So they really have, so all these children who are born in a uh, sort of so-called wealthy country, the, their immune system is not really being given a chance to, to do the job, what they're supposed to do, which is fighting infection. There is no infection, there's no worms. In a more rural setting, kids have to deal with a lot of infections, especially worms and skin infections and worms and parasite infection there is definitely a link and proven uh, relationship between the, the amount of the more common the worm infections the less likely you're going to get eczema so there is a, some some link and and hygiene theory is quite a popular theory circulating among uh, the, the people in the eczema world